Hey guys, Jeff here. Passwords are probably one of, if not the most common and sacred thing, or secret thing as the case may be, online. Uh, everyone has a password. Anyone who's online probably has a password. Hell, even if your bank account has a password, it's known as your PIN number. So passwords have been around for a long time and you're supposed to keep them secret. Now, a big concern of a lot of people online is how secure is your password? So I found this site, and what the site does is it tests how secure your password is against the brute force attack. Now, the way it does that is, very simply, it takes the number of possible characters in the password to the power of the length of the password divided by the number of calculations per second. So I believe this, this site uses 10, uh, 10 million calculations per second, uh, which is a rough estimate uh, of what the average computer can do. Now, granted, a lot of sites give you three or, or a couple of chances before they lock you out for a certain period of time before trying your password again, but if all was equal and you had as many chances as possible, this is what this will tell you how strong your password actually is. Now, before I go into the site and show you how it works, it's very, very simple. Um, I just want to cover a few things. The guy who made the site claims that you know it's, he doesn't harvest your passwords and so on and so forth, and that he uses JavaScript to do the calculation part of things. Now, to, in order to test this, I, uh, I tried a few different things, but one of the things I figured you, try, you can try yourself, aside from going to the site, disconnecting your internet, and then, seeing, and then seeing if it still works, is a more practical approach, and that is, blocking JavaScript from loading on the site uh, when, once you're on the page. So I'm just going to go in Chrome just to show you guys. And I have Chrome open. And I have, uh, I'm going to go to the website. The website, by the way, is howsecureismypassword.net. And if I'm in Chrome and I go to the JavaScript exceptions, I'm going to click block on this website. I'm going to add it and I click block. I'm going to refresh the page and it should tell me that it can't work because it needs JavaScript. It says for security reasons, JavaScript is required for this password to work. And if you click Y, uh, it's because JavaScript runs on your computer, which means there is no information transferred over the internet when you type your password in, which means no one can intercept it, which is good. So that's, that's good. He took your security into account here. So basically, let's click Allow and just allow this. I'm actually going to remove it so we can do this demonstration here. So I'm going to refresh the page again. All right, so I'm gonna type in, let's type in a random word like, uh, I don't know, let's try dog. It would take 0.001571576 seconds. That's, a, that's like, a, what is that, thousands of a second to crack that for a desktop PC. Let's try another word, let's try um, Apple. Apple is actually one of the 500 most common passwords it's saying right here. That's pretty scary. Let's try just try password. See what happens. Another one of the most 500 common passwords. All right, so let's try something a little more difficult. Let's just try, uh, let's try Apple, one, two, three. That would take about three days to crack on brute force using an average desktop PC. Let's try something else. Let's try orange, one, two, three, four. That would take about 11 years. Orange, one, two, three, four would take 11 years to crack on brute force. Now, orange is a, is a standard word it's in the dictionary. But by simply adding numbers, you're actually increasing the amount of time it takes. The reason for this is because, because as the algorithm shows, that the longer the password, the um, you know the more characters it has to go through in order to actually crack the, the password in order to figure it out. So the longer the password, the, the safer you tend to be. Let's add a couple more letters here. A number more numbers: five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it would take 907 billion years to crack orange, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty cool. Uh, and that's because the length of the password, again, longer, more characters to crack. Now, by the way, also, this password, this how secures my password.net will only recognize English symbols. So if you were to put in a symbol or something, it has to be an English uh, symbol, one of the standard ones that's on an English keyboard. Uh, and also, so let, let's go to a password generator. Let's go to, I know PC Tools has a password generator. Let's go to theirs. And uh, let's see. Password generator. And let's just put in a random password generator. Let's just create a, let's just create a, uh, a password through the password generator. 
And let's let's make it fairly long, and let's include punctuations and symbols and things like that. Let's make it, I don't know, let's make it 24 characters. That's pretty good. All right, so while that's creating, all right, so here we go. We got the password. Let's copy this. Copy. Now, just for security reasons, I wouldn't put your own password in when you're testing this. Uh, you know, whatever could happen, could happen. I'm sure he's not harvesting them. But just in case to be safe, you could put a similar password in and, you should, and it should have similar results. So let's put in this password, this 24 character password. Whoa! It would take three nonillion years. I'm not even sure how many years that is, but that's probably more than a trillion. That's probably a lot. 24 character password, completely random. Three nonillion years. I have to look that one up. Check it out. Uh, how secure is my password? Dot net. Leave a comment with how secure your password is, or a similar password to yours is. Let me know what you think. This is a cool site. Good for checking, making sure you're safe online. We'll see you next time. And remember, remember, take care of your computers and your passwords too.